Well, standing out here with Kevin Oliver, who's uh, the custodian of this 59 birdcage Maserati. I don't know what its official name is. I just call it the birdcage. Official name is the Tipo 61. That's uh, their three liter designation. So it's got three liters. It's a straight six, uh, twin overhead cams, got the two side draft Webers, but the real thing is the construction of the frame. Yeah, thanks, Adam. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me correct you on <laughs> straight, that. Straight four, sorry. It just got I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. It's the twin It's the twin spark plug thing that screwed me up. It's a four banger, everybody, but it's still worth something. Well, it's got the, I'm looking at nine spark plug wires there. It confused me a little bit. Anyway, let's focus on the chassis here, the birdcage part of it. Yeah, these cars are very lightweight. The whole car only weighs just over 1,300 pounds. Uh, mild steel, small tube construction for the chassis, giving it the name of the birdcage because that's what it looks like. Alloy body, uh, motor puts out just over 250 horsepower. That's a lot out of a six-cylinder. <laughs> and... Uh, Looks like uh, everything's aluminum on it as well. All aluminum bodywork. This car was actually the SCCA champion in 1960. Uh, and uh, now many of the greats have driven these cars over the years, have they not? Absolutely. Sterling Moss, did he drive one of these? He drove one of these and actually drove this car at the Monterey Historics in 1988. I like this car because, uh, I mean, first off, it, it had to take 200,000 hours to put together this guy crazy brazen. plumbing concoction wow. here of tubing but also it's almost like it's almost like when you're a kid and you'd get the car the, the invisible rotary engine or the invisible whatever the human body like you can actually see how it works you can see how everything functions I mean you can literally it's like a see-through car it does help for those quick pit stops in the day you could definitely get in and, and see what the problem was and address it immediately uh, Donnie will get a close-up of this later, but it's amazing that even the shock towers are drilled out on this car. I mean, it, it seems, I know geometry is at work here, but it's, it seems almost too weak to run an endurance race. They are a, a brittle car. You don't want to hit anything, but they, they are, amazingly, they stand up, and they did a lot of this with weight, even on the trunk latch. and parking brake handle. They drilled holes everywhere, everywhere to take the weight, weight out of this thing and did get them down to I think 1,320 pounds was the total weight. Uh, it looks uh, amazingly unsafe to drive because it has bias ply, 90 series tires on it and no roll bar because that would have added nine pounds to the car. Actually hitting underneath the rear cow there is a small hoop that you know it's With been that, drilled out. It, it wouldn't shake, save With your that life leather anyway. Helmet, it'll do a good job when it's like exactly. scraping, the, scraping the pavement. Side impact was not what you wanted in these cars. You can see on the side of this thing, there's right. almost no side structural support. So, uh, now what did that pretty big cojones in the day to race these at speed? How many of these did they make? They built 16 Tipo 61s and uh, only about two or three exist with the original engine and transmission. This is a transaxle. This is one of those two or three cars. Ballpark, what do you think this car's worth? Four and a half, five million. I love the fact that you answer that. Every other jack off I talk to is, well, it depends how much you'll pay, so it'll will pay for it, or the market will bear. Four and a half to five million today. <laughs> Two years ago, six million bucks. I think so, I think so. Yeah. And uh, you look over a lot of pretty amazing cars in a, in a pretty amazing collection. I do, I do. This is one of about 60 vehicles that I take care of. I have the privilege of taking care of and even sometimes getting to be the driver. Oh, really? Yes. Well, I got to say, you know, back in the era when there was uh, plenty of V8s and plenty of V12s, I love this little straight six. Nothing like a Maserati Nothing. straight six. <laughs> I thought all Maseratis did was straight sixes. Look at all those spark plug wires. Oh, look, I've had a couple of beers. I'm going to be honest with you. That's why, you know, I'm adding value to it. That's, <laughs> That's all right. I'll say. All right, Kevin, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin.